Hey guys, my name is Freedom. Today I'm going to show you how to import the Google Map 3D into Blender 3.3 like this. You can see this is the whole city, some of the buildings and now already in Blender. And from the beginning they are from the Google Map 3D. So start from now, I'm going to show you step by step. First, you have to scroll down, go to my video descriptions. I already put a download link at there, download the Google Map 3D Grabble. And this is a Google Drive link. You have to download this pack first. It is a zip file. After you download it, you have to, to extract it, extract the zip file. And then inside the zip file, it already have a Blender 3.0 provided by me. This Blender 3.0 already have the pre-installed plugin just to import the Google Map 3D. Also the render dot 1.13. Alright, once you already download it, okay, I'm going to close this Blender and then save this. Right, just have a look. After you already download the Google Map 3D Grabble, you have to extract the zip file. And it is already in folder. This is mine. Right, what will you will get? You have to make sure you already installed the Google Chrome. The Google Chrome already installed in your computer. Right, the Google Chrome. And then you have to install this render.1.13. Right, you have to, to install it first, then you will get the render dot in your computer. The version must be 1.13 and the Blender 3.0 here is provided by me. Inside here, I already installed the maps, the, the maps importer plugin. All right, now, how to do? Start from now, we go step by step. First, you start the render doc. Before you start the render doc, you have to make sure all your Google Chrome browser already closed. And also, of course, your Microsoft Edge, any of the web browser, you have to close it first. All right, once you close it already, Next, you can open the render doc that already installed in your computer. Open the render doc like this. Then, click file, inject into process, something like this. Then here, just type Chrome, C-H-R-O-M-E, -H Chrome. And stand by at here. Next. Make sure that your Google Chrome already closed. And you open the Google Chrome by using the shortcut that given by me, the render dot. Just double click to open, then click open. You can see it is totally blank, it is normal. Next, in your render dot, you click inject. Right, refresh first here. Make sure the Chrome already start here. Click the Google Chrome GPU and click inject. Next, and here, this is the Google Chrome. It is totally white with, with a conversation here. Click OK. Then start your Google Chrome. You should be able to see that in your Google Chrome, you already have the black background with some of the white words. Now you can just go to the Google Map, maps.google.com. Right now, this is the, the Google Map, something like this. And how are we going to, uh, to enter the Google Map 3D? Let's say I go to find the New York City first, right here. Right next, you have to click the layer. You make sure you already log in, log into your Google account, click the layer. Then you can see the satellite layer. Then next you click 3D, something like this. Now you can see the 3D. Alright, you can zoom in, you can zoom out, go to the, the size that's suitable. Next, open the render dot. The capture after delay here, you change it to become five seconds. Then click capture after delay. Then back to your Google Chrome and you have to keep on move your map like this. Right. Then now you can see capture frame. Back to your Google Chrome, it already captured. 
Next, what you are going to do is just right click this, save. As demo, I'm going to save it on my desktop and create a new folder. Name this folder as New York Row 2. Right, double click in. The file name I'm going to name name this as New York Row 2. This is the RDC file. Save it as RDC file. Save it. Then you can see inside this folder the New York 02 RDC file. Right, done already. Next, back to the Google Map 3D Grabber folder that downloaded for me. Go into the Blender 3.0 that given by me and start the Blender. Okay, this is the Blender 3.0. The first step, press A and press Delete button to delete everything from here. Next, go to the Edit Preferences. And then, under the Add-on, here you search map. Then you should be able to see maps model imported. Make sure you click it. This is a plugin that already pre-installed in the Blender 3.0 that given by me. You just use it first, close it. Then you click File, Import. You should be able to see that you can import, import the Google Map RDC file. Click into here. It is on my desktop, New York 02. Import the RDC file into the Blender 3.0 that given by me first. Now you can see it is freezing. It looks like not responding, but actually it is loading. You have to be patient and wait for a while until the Blender finish loading the RDC file as, as a map. So here it just wait for a while. Right now done already, you can see it is already loaded into into the blender. Click here, you can you can just look at the texture. Right, so in this tutorial, we are going to import it into the blender 3.3. You can just go to the blender's website to download the latest version, the blender 3.3. I already installed it in my computer blender. Blender 3.3. Right, now you can see previous one is the Blender 3.0 that given by me and this one is Blender 3.3, the latest version. Delete everything from here. Go back to my Blender 3.0. What you are going to do on this map, you can see now all these are just meshes. We are going to combine all the meshes. Just select everything, Control J to combine all the meshes. Once you combine all the meshes already, you can just click and then use Control C to copy back to your Blender 3.3 then use Ctrl V to paste it will be here click now you can see all this Google Map 3D all this Google Map 3D already inside your Blender 3.3 and that's all for today about my tutorial on how to import the Google Map 3D into the Blender 3.3 the latest version and that's all for today thank you for watching if you love my video tutorial if you view all these tutorials are very helpful to your 3D animation, 3D modeling, and game developing, you can subscribe to my YouTube channel and also turn on the mini bell and select all so that when next time I publish a new video tutorial, you receive a notification immediately. See you in my next video. Enjoy. Happy animation and game developing. See you.